Hey guys, it's your team Captain Craft here, and today I will show you how to make a redstone torch repeater and a redstone repeater with the redstone repeater. Yeah, kind of complicating, but here's a nice demonstration of the redstone torch repeater hooked up to some command blocks, which will give me blocks of gold and blocks of iron. As you can see, I gain these blocks extremely fast. I already got a couple stacks. And those were by ones, as you can see, giving one iron block or gold block and stuff like that. So then if we take these out, let's show you how to make each of the repeaters. Now the redstone repeater, made out of redstone repeaters, is quite simple. All you need is to put one, two, three, four. But I find it more uh, fa efficient if you put two of each because the redstone signal takes less time or longer to die out because with this repeater a redstone signal will eventually catch up to itself and become this when you want it to look like this forever but it will eventually catch up to itself and end up like that so that's basically how you build it and you just hook it up to a button or whatever you want and now for the redstone torch repeater. Just turn these off. So for this you're gonna need two blocks, any kind, four redstone torches, and redstone. So as you can see here the reason we need two of these set up, you don't need them that far apart, you can just put them there, is because if you connect this, these two together you can see they burn out and if you connect all four like so almost there almost there and I fail they will never burn out so what you basically need to do is just put a redstone block or not block but a piece of redstone on top of the block with the two redstone torches on it and then connect both torches to each other and then do that on the other side and connect the signal and therefore you have a nice redstone repeater now I'll show you why this repeater what this repeater is better at doing and that repeater is better at doing so first before we do that I'm gonna actually show you how fast this one does everything and how fast that one does stuff so this one's just fill it up to the max okay, that one's full to the max let's fill this up to the max okay they're both full to the max so even if we give this a head start okay it doesn't seem to be dispensing maybe if I do that awkward well oh, I think this signal's going too fast it was working before though Hey, it worked. So that is the speed of that one, and this has had a well head start on this one. And then if we connect that, we will see that the redstone torch repeater surpasses this one in speed by quite a massive difference. A bad choice of words, but I use them anyway. So this is how much this one's lost, which is one to pause the video. And that's how much that one's lost in this about the same amount of time. Even more time than that one. Okay, so as you can see here, the redstone torch repeater is a lot better at for dispensing stuff if you want to make a trap or something in a little hallway and you want to dispense arrows at an extreme speed. The redstone torch repeater is the redst is the repeater for you yeah and it would also be better if you want to make like a little disco party and then just place a bunch of lamps let's see if this will even work I've never tried this before okay it's a bit if we put a
There we go. A little party here. It's flashing everywhere. It's pretty awesome, I think so. So it's pretty much better for dispensing stuff at a rapid pace and it would also be better for repeating lights if you want. And probably also would be better to do note blocks with. I don't really know how to do note blocks, but I assume that it would be better for that. Okay, now let's tell you what this one's better for. This one, I th personally to me, would be better for piston parkour. So something like this. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty hard. If you if you you could e on this you could easily just jump it. But if you just put a roof like this, you could not and then you would be forced to run across, which is extremely hard. And you could slow it down by doing Oops. Something like this. Okay, never mind. You could, but then you would have to add another repeater because of how I set this up. I set this up so that it uses up all four of the repeater's delay times. So you basically all you would have to do is set up another repeater behind each of them, and then it would go slower. You see how much slower that is than this? I, I'm almost positive it's impossible to run at this speed. But yeah, that's that's basically what I think it's better for, or... Or it would also be better for traps like... A redstone repeater, not just traps, but like... If you wanted to make... Uh, a thing with a redstone, with a piston, that basically pushes something up and then another piston above it would push it eh, would push the object that way and then you can make a piston right here that would push it up again basically an elevator is what I'm thinking of I guess so push you up push you that way then you could have another one down here which would push you and then you would move that one back and it would push you so just a quick review the redstone torch repeater is quite fa quite a lot faster than that repeater and the redstone torch repeater is a lot better at dispensing items than that repeater and yeah and for the command block usage if you want to repeat a command constantly this is the one you want to use I would assume because this one eventually stops which would not be good but this one I find is a lot better for parkour with pistons, as you can see here. So, nee, 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 nee. And it would also be quite a lot better for other stuff. Now, if you guys watched my videos before, I assume that you know that this is a trap. Ha! I did post a video on this trap. It is pretty easy to make and pretty awesome. So if you want to watch that, go ahead. It will be... I think it's my second video, so... Go ahead, go look through my videos. Please subscribe and like this video.